Hey guys, today I'm going to cook some frozen salmon in the slow cooker. So let's get crocking. I have this piece of frozen sockeye salmon I pulled out of the freezer about an hour ago and I realized it's not going to quite fit in there whole. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, cut it in half now. Hopefully it's softened up enough. So this is a 1.07 pound piece of fish. It was $6.99 per pound. This piece of fish was $7.48. So let me see if I can get it cut in half and we'll get it in there. It's still frozen, but it wasn't too hard to cut. Now I'm going to add this Mr. Yoshida's Sweet Teriyaki Sauce. And I think I'm going to add one cup of it here. Just kind of cover that. Perfect. And we'll get the lid on there. And I'm going to cook this on high. And I'll let you guys know how long it takes. It's been an hour and a half, so let's see how we're doing here. You always get kind of that white stuff with fish, especially salmon. Seems like it's kind of flaky there. It says to cook it to 145 degrees. Let me check it with a thermometer and see where it's at here. Yeah, it's right about where I want it. So I think I don't want to dry it out. I think what I'm going to do is shut the pot off and kind of spoon some of this um, the sauce over it and kind of let it sit in the sauce for a little bit. Maybe I should have put it with the meat side down in the sauce because it kind of didn't get into the sauce very good but I'm just going to kind of let it kind of sit here and kind of marinate in the sauce for a few minutes and then we'll try it out. I figured out a little trick here. That doesn't look very appetizing with all that white stuff on it. So I'm using this sauce, sauce brush here and just kind of brushing that off. Kind of brushing some of that uh, teriyaki sauce over it. And that makes it look a lot more appetizing. <laughs> all right, let's see how we did here. That looks a lot better after I brushed all that white stuff off the outside. All right, looks good, nice and flaky. Here we are. It turned out pretty good. Frozen salmon's always a little fishier tasting than fresh, but it's actually pretty good. I guess we better see what Annie thinks. She gets into the cat's fish flavored food all the time, so I'm guessing she'll probably like salmon. <laughs> She's eating it, but she doesn't seem as enthused as she does about some things. <laughs> so that took about an hour and a half, but it'll probably vary some depending on how thick your fish is. That was a pretty thin fish fillet there. So, and I've done that with frozen tilapia as well. Works out pretty good with tilapia too. So, um, and the sauce, I just buy this at the grocery store. This Mr. Yoshida's Sweet Teriyaki Original Gourmet Sauce. I've used this. I've used this in other videos as well. Anyway, um, I'll write everything in the description. Thanks for watching and stay safe.